Chapter 3, The Journey Begins Dorothy walked for hours until it started to get dark. Wondering where she might spend the evening, she stopped at a big, brightly lit blue house filled with munchkins, all dressed in blue. Dorothy had noticed that blue seemed to be the official color of the land of the munchkins. They were dancing and celebrating their new freedom from the wicked witch's evil grasp. Like every munchkin she had passed that day, the munchkins at the house bowed and thanked her for killing the wicked witch of the east. They invited her to stay for the night, and she agreed. She ate a delicious meal and slept in a wonderfully soft bed. The next morning at breakfast, Dorothy asked Bok, her munchkin host, how far it was to the Emerald City. I do not know, he replied. I have never been there. We munchkins tend to keep away from us. I do know that it is a long way to the Emerald City. It will take you many days. The country here is rich and pleasant, but you must pass through rough and dangerous places before you reach the end of your journey. This was not at all encouraging to Dorothy, but she was determined to get home. After finishing her meal and thanking her host, she and Toto continued along the road of yellow bricks. When they had Gone several miles, she needed to rest, so she climbed a fence and sat on its top rail. Beyond the fence was a big cornfield, and not far away was a scarecrow, placed high on a pole to keep birds from eating the ripe corn. Dorothy leaned her chin upon her hand and gazed thoughtfully at the scarecrow. His head was a small sack stuffed with straw, with eyes and nose and a mouth painted on it to represent a face. An old pointed blue hat was perched on his head and the rest of the figure was a blue suit of clothes, worn and faded, which had also been stuffed with straw. While Dorothy was gazing at the scarecrow's painted face, she was surprised to see one of his eyes slowly wink at her. One afternoon, said the scarecrow, in a rather husty voice. Dorothy, in complete amazement, said curiously, Did you say something? Why, yes, I did, came the reply. I said, Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, answered Dorothy. How are you? Oh, I'm not feeling well, said the scarecrow with a groan, for it is very tedious being perched up here all night and day to scare away crows. Can't you get down, asked Dorothy. No, for this pole has stuck out my back. If you will please take it away the pole, I shall be greatly obliged to help you. Dorothy walked over to the scarecrow and reached both arms up to lift him off the pole. Being stuffed with straw, he was quite light. As soon as he was on the ground, he gave a big stretch and thanked Dorothy many times. Who are you? he asked curiously. And where are you going? My name is Dorothy. I'm going to Emerald City to ask the wonderful Wizard of Oz to send me back to Kansas. Do you know where that is? No, indeed, said the Scarecrow sadly. I don't know anything. You see, I am stuffed, so I have no brains at all. If I went with you, do you think that the Oz would give me some? Well, it certainly can't hurt to ask, said Dorothy. If he doesn't, you wouldn't be any worse than you are now. Delighted by the idea, the scarecrow decided to give it a try. So, once again, Dorothy set off down the road of yellow bricks with Toto in her arms and her new friend, the scarecrow, by her side.